Hello there, my name is Ismail. Welcome to another Blender 2.8 uh, tutorial, beginner tutorial. Uh, this time I want to show you an another cool modifier you can use in your modifier stack. Uh, but uh, for some reason, uh, Blender kept on crashing, obviously because this is still in development and there's st there's still a lot of bugs. Uh, but uh, yeah, as I was trying to, because I've recorded this tutorial about three times now and it kept on crashing, but uh, uh, if it crashes when I'm making this, I will just demonstrate what I'm doing uh, because it's the same trick I used to make uh, this cloth. You can see it has quite a number, uh, quite a good amount of wrinkles, uh, detailed wrinkles uh, without uh, that much resolution uh, when you go under it. And uh, yeah, so I just, uh, so what I'm trying to demonstrate is how you can get that much wrinkles without too much resolution because you see we had I made two simulations here, cloth simulations here. Uh, this, uh, let me see, hide this, uh, this here. And uh, it also ha doesn't have that much resolution. I was a bit, uh, yeah, it, is, it doesn't have that much resolution comp compared to what it would have without what I did. Uh, so anyway, yeah, so if it doesn't work here in this, I would maybe d try to demonstrate, try to explain uh, it from there uh, but uh, anyway so let's try this again I'll uh, turn on uh, random colors and uh, maybe change this for a sphere a UV sphere uh, and uh, go to the physics tab and turn this into a collision object and this into a cloth object and now uh, we can have some subdivisions like that and uh, we can hit play to simulate what we want and maybe we can turn on self collision here so in the cloth modifier turn on self collision so that uh, the cloth doesn't doesn't go through itself i can also turn on a smooth shading so let's assume you are happy with this uh, i don't know the problem is that uh, when i add more resolution Blender tends to crash, so I don't want to do that, but uh, let's see. Maybe that was too much. Yeah, I think those are good wrinkles there. So let's say you have this and uh, it's what you want. Uh, you can apply the cloth modifier and uh, most times when I apply this blender crashes. So let's see. Okay, didn't, thanks. So you see the amount of resolution you have there, uh, but you see it's also somewhere where you don't need it. Like you don't need this much resolution to create uh, this kind of uh, detail here you don't need that much resolution here. You don't need that much resolution here. And uh, I don't know where you see the polygon count in this version of Blender. Uh, I think it's here. So let's move this. You can see this has uh, okay, 400 and uh, 4,000 something and this Okay, so I think it's calculating the entire, all the objects in the scene, it's not just, uh, anyway, uh, there is a modifier called the decimate modifier. Yeah, where is that decimate modifier? And uh, you can use it to reduce uh, the polygon count of, of the vertex of the, of the object. Uh, without losing uh, that much detail. Uh, so, and uh, you can use the ratio here to reduce uh, the polygon count. Uh, you can see down here, uh, this shows the entire, the number, the total amount of vertices or polygon count for both uh, selected, for both, ob for all objects in the scene. And we currently have two meshes uh, in the scene that total to this amount of vertices. So if, 
should if I delete this, it should only show the vertices in this object. And uh, so if we reduce the ratio here, you can see the total amount of vertices reduces as well. And uh, let me make a duplicate here so that you can see what I'm doing. Uh, this doesn't have the modifier. Uh, this is the, I don't know, can we overlay wireframe? Maybe we can turn what meta cap. I want a meta cap that can easily show, yeah, the polygon count, the polygons. So you see the amount of detail we have and uh, the amount of polygons we have there. Uh, if we use the decimate modifier, you can see it reduces that uh, those polygons uh, without uh, while trying to maintain the detail. So you can see it's reducing uh, polygons where uh, removing the polygons that are not needed needed uh, in different areas. You can see it's reducing th that, and uh, you can remove as much as you want but uh, uh, the more you remove the more detail you will lose as well but uh, what I usually do if I have the decimate modifier I can also you can also add a subdivision modifier and uh, that will kind of hide kind of bring back some of the detail uh, or compensate for the lost detail uh, let's see where did I turn off wire turn on wireframe you see, I'm not sure why this is larger. It's okay, so you see, this has less polygon counts, but there isn't that much detail lost from this. Obviously, this doesn't have a subdivision for surface, but uh, if you add that, uh, so that we are looking at the same things, you see, for the amount of polygons you have removed, uh, there isn't that much difference, maybe around here, but uh, yeah. So if you're happy with what you have, uh, you can apply the decimal modifier, and you see now, the amount of polygons we have, let me first remove this, is not that much as this, uh, which would take a lot of time to render. And if you have a lot of objects in your scene, uh, you will, it will slow down your viewport. Uh, you see, and uh, if you turn on a subsurf modifier, you can see it makes it even look better. So if you increase this, let's see, and also I think, oh, did we have smooth shading? I think we have smooth shading already. So yeah, that's how you do it. So th that's the same thing I did here, uh, because without using the decimate, mo the decimate modifier, uh, this mesh would have a lot of polygons, and uh, it even now it has a lot. But uh, uh, imagine how much uh, details, uh, how much uh, polygons it it needed uh, to simulate uh, this cloth these wrinkles here. Yeah. yeah, so that's how you can use the decimate modifier to reduce a polygon count. Uh, it doesn't it doesn't only work on cloth simulations. You can also use it use it on other objects like uh, this monkey head. Let's make a duplicate of this in the X direction. Maybe let's turn on overlays again, wireframes, and turn on decimate modifier uh, reduce and see I guess you can also use this to make a uh, low poly objects uh, that you see uh, that style of renders uh, that you see so it's a cool uh, modifier I think you can also change the the, t the type of the type of unsubdivision you want yeah thank thank you make sure to leave a like subscribe as a way to support the channel thank you